right, David Cotier, there he is right there, the most sought after blogger on your Second Amendment rights. How are you, David? James, I'm doing pretty good. Okay, now, I, I read your blog, and, and I know most of us do. I read your blog in, in your opening line, the gun bling in Hollywood certainly has brought a lot of attention. Tell us a little bit more about where you're going with that. Well, before I do that, James, I'd like to give you a little uh, multiple choice quiz, okay, that, that goes along with where I'm going with this. I want to read you a uh, uh, quote, and it says, Name the person who said, I hate handguns. Handguns are used to shoot people, and as long as they're around, people will shoot each other. Now, was that Sarah Brady, Diane Feinstein, or Bond, James Bond? <laughs> Well, okay. <laughs> and, and of course, the, the, the answer to that question, it was Daniel Craig, the newest incarnation of the actor who plays Bond. And so where I'm going with all of this is pointing out some of the anti-gun hypocrisy that exists in the Hollywood community. I like David Craig. You mean to tell me he said that? Daniel Craig said that, and, and when, when, when he did say that, uh, a lot of the people were making comments, well, you know, he, he's not a real Bond. You know, the only real Bond for me was Sean Connery, people would say. And then I would have to disappoint them, and I would say, well, you know what? The problem is Connery was instrumental in doing commercials for the BBC to ban handguns in the United Kingdom. And uh, this, this is also a guy who said that he sees nothing particularly wrong about hitting a woman. So I guess if you like your Bond girls shaken, not stirred, you don't want to let them get their hands on a Walther PPK. <laughs> of course, uh, then, we, then, we, then we have Roger Moore, who is uh, another Bond who says that he hates handguns, hated the pose, and he is a UNICEF ambassador of peace. And then we also had Pierce Brosnan, a Bond who is another UN actor ambassador who goes a step further, he's a supporter of the radical in defense of animals, and they claim that even if you're going to eat it, there's no justification for hunting, and they give people tips on how to sabotage hunting areas, like collecting human hair from barbershops and scattering them around, or playing loud radios, or, you know, spreading deer repellent around hunting areas. So, yeah, you know, you, you, viewers just take note that you better be in line with us wild diet extremists and evil black rifle owners because they're coming for you too. We're in this together. Yeah, you know, David, I'm really surprised. I've had the, a lucky opportunity, I think, of meeting with Pierce Brosman. Actually, he was in the UK. He was staying at the same hotel and we were all having drinks together, actually. And, and I think like many of us, we just assume because they have a role or they are depicted as uh, someone who probably has a gun, that they are probably pro-gun. You're, in fact, pointing out the fact that many of the people, hey, this is an acting job, right? Yeah, basic, basically, uh, we cannot attribute to persons the, the uh, attributes of the characters that they play on screen. They are different people. They are playing roles. They, they appear in a way that there's a whole crew of people to do their hair and put their makeup on and dress them and coach them on how to walk and what to say and how to say it and read these lines and do it over and do it this way. And so when we see someone and we say, you know, well, geez, this is a real glamorous or heroic or whatever type of a person, what we are looking at is we are looking at an illusion, a product of many, many people working together to create an image in mind and present it in such a way. And, uh, you know, so I think the uh, article about the gun bling, that referred to Drew Barrymore. And she's another one who is vociferously anti-gun. A quote from her is, people just sit behind their, and I can't say the word, weapon, and then they can kill somebody, and it's just so cowardly. And yet, here she goes, you know, she's wearing an ammo belt as a fashion statement. And this thing looks like a bandolier, and it's full of, you know, dummy rounds on it. They look like they're either 223s or knowing Hollywood sympathies, probably more like ammo from a Kalashnikov. <laughs> okay. And she's another one who is so against guns that when she made Charlie's Angels, she, you know, made the decision that the angels weren't going to use guns. They were all going to use, you know, karate and martial arts and 
that's fine and good in Hollywood, but you know what? You better not be going up against an enraged male unless you're a top expert, and you know that that's just okay. my expert. Now, 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 now it, David, so. you know you you pro you've been on the show when I've had Patrick kill Patrick, and you know Patrick and I went into a little bit of dialogue about some of the real feelings in Hollywood uh, about guns. And yes, granted, they're probably the majority of them are anti-gun, but uh, Patrick followed that up in so many words by saying that most of those same people have guns, they just don't really want to come out and say anything uh, positive about guns because so many directors and uh, uh, you know, they don't, they, they don't want to jeopardize their position in Hollywood by aligning themselves uh, as a pro-gun or a gun owner for that matter. And, and I, I think uh, there are many instances where they've either hired bodyguards with guns or in fact, uh, you know, there's been a few out there certainly in athletics that uh, holstered a gun themselves. Well, and, and that's a very valid point that he brought up and as a matter of fact, uh, Dan Gifford, who co-produced Waco, The Rules of Engagement, did an article not that long ago on BigGovernment.com, and he talked about another guy that I know from California, a writer by the name of J. Neil Shulman, and they make a pretty good case that there is, in fact, a blacklist in Hollywood, but it's a blacklist against conservatives, and it's a blacklist against people who are pro-gun. Now, there are some actors who have come out of the gun safe, as I like to put it, uh, you know, people like Charlton Heston did, uh, people like Tom Selleck have. Uh, I used to go to the California Rifle and Pistol Association banquets when I lived up there, and I would routinely see actors like the late Robert Stack would show up for these. Paul Sorvino would show up for these. Uh, Eric Estrada was another good one. Uh, but you don't see a lot of the really top a-list top box office draws the people that you see guys like Sylvester Stallone who who made their living and he has a new movie out right now the expendables which is a bunch of guys with guns doing heroics and a quote from him is until America door to door takes every handgun this is what you're gonna have and my response to that was that the star of Rambo who made his fortune exploiting armed violence should call on government raids to disarm millions of real veterans and the rest of his countrymen goes beyond hypocritical, it's contemptible. And okay. I believe uh, that it is. Oh, oh, okay, all right, all right. I'll, I'll go with some of this. But tell me where you want, what, what do you think uh, can be done about it? Are we just commenting on a, a something that in, probably to many of us, certainly here in California, that we're aware of? Or are you saying to, to boycott their films? Are you making a statement here, David? 